Exeter Chiefs, the voice. The judges. the judges. I've been singing since I can remember. It's a really important part of my life. I want to go really far in this competition. Name that tune. Yes, it is, Dave. Yeah, I struggled a little bit with it. Um, it. It sounded like you had sort of a fur ball in your throat. Do you... I think it was coming out my nose a bit. Yeah. Uh, got cold, so a little bit nasal. A bit do, nasal, do, yeah. Do you spend a lot of time around cats, or do you own cats or something? Not at all, Dave. Uh, I've got a dog. Uh, he doesn't like cats. I tell you what, you remind me a little bit of a, an older meatloaf. Mm. You could hit some of the high notes. You know, there's definitely potential there for you, Sean. I wouldn't wouldn't lose heart. Yeah, I, I don't really agree. I, unless, you, unless you clear that sort of fur boy out of your throat, you probably haven't got much of a career in singing. I'm in my happiest when I'm singing. When my mom nominated me for the show, it was like a dream come true. Name that tune. Uh, I mean, yes. Well, for me, and I don't know what my fellow judges think, absolutely nailed it, Campo. Mm, thank you very you much. Know, you had depth there. You got the looks, the stage presence. You know, for me, I was choking up. I was holding back the tears. Much appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, I loved it. Y young Pavarotti for me. Big future. I, I think my fellow judges say everything I was going to say, but from a personal point of view, you are very beautiful, man. <laughs> Thank you, much. Join us next week for episode three of The Voice of the Chiefs. Yeah.